What is up, everyone? Abigora here. And today, I'm going to be talking about the top five controversial wrestling opinions. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but I just never had the time to make it. But if you guys don't know what controversial means, it's basically unpopular opinions. It's basically hot takes. It's things that most people will not agree on. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at in today's video. And just to remind y'all guys, this is all in my opinions, so you are allowed to disagree with me. So if you guys are new to the channel, like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Look will be in the description down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. At number 5, we have the WWE vs AEW Wars is ridiculous. I wanted to start off with a serious topic. I've known I said this a couple of times in my videos, but it's gotten ridiculous at this point. I've seen so many people on social media say, WWE is so trash, AEW is way better, or WWE will always be better than AEW, and I'm just so tired of this man. And I know some people are going to say to me, you know this company is way better, but I don't care about this wars nonsense. Let me show you guys an example. So on Instagram, I'm in a group chat with some wrestling friends, which is Drew Outlaw and Alice Cripps. And I showed them the messages of the most ridiculous and stupidest comments. Here's one of them. This guy has said, at this point, AEW is WWE 2.0. And this AEW fanboy want to reply, you wish for it, lol. AEW is much better than WWE. And if you say that comment is because you don't know Darby Allen, MGF, Serena D, Britt Baker, etc. This is what I'll be talking about. Maybe the reason why people don't really know about the people you just named is because a lot of people don't know about AEW. And then another AEW fanboy want to say, they think WWE made every wrestler first before any other promotion did. But that's the point. WWE been out for more than 40 years. And literally half of the AEW roster is filled with ex-WWE members. So half of the roster came from WWE and they did kind of technically make them. And that's how you know that AEW fans care about WWE. Because the very second WWE releases someone, y'all gonna spam, come to AEW. But I'm not done yet, there's more. I don't have proof for this next one, but someone had told me AEW came out before WWE and it will always be better. And I'm not joking when I say that. Someone actually said that to me. WWE been out since the 1960s. AEW been out since 2019. Know the difference, buddy. And that's the thing, too. People just assume that I'm an AEW fanboy because I run on WWE all the time. And people think I'm a WWE fanboy because I talk about WWE all the time. And I know some people are going to ask me, are you team WWE or AEW? And my answer is neither. I'm team wrestling. I feel like people shouldn't have to pick a side to see which one is better. It's stupid. But that's all I have to say on this one. I really hope the wars come to an end soon. At number 4, we have Sami Zayn's theme is overheated. I know some of y'all saying, what are you talking about? His theme is absolute garbage. And that's literally the whole point of this entry. I've seen this theme get so much hate. I understand it's not better than this old theme, but y'all overreacting way too much. I mean, just take a listen. I'm sorry, but this theme song is not that bad to me. I'm not saying I will 100% like the theme song. I'm just saying it's not that bad. I've heard people say, this is the worst theme I've ever heard. The worst theme of 2022. And none of that stuff is true. Trust me, there are worse themes than this. But I'll talk more about that in a future video I have coming up. I'll admit that WWE makes some of the worst themes. But I'm not going to include this theme on that. If it was a top 10 list of the worst themes, maybe I'll consider putting Sammy's theme onto that list. But in this situation, it's perfectly fine. But let me tell you some other theme songs that I think are worse than this. Dewdrop's theme, trash. Liv Morgan's theme, trash. Ricochet's theme, trash. Shayna Baszler's theme, trash. Carmella's theme, trash. 
Happy Corbin Steam. Trash. The list goes on. And don't say that Sami Zayn's Steam is worse than any other themes I just named. Like I said, I have a whole video explaining about that, so stay tuned for that. But as much as people hate the Steam song, it's definitely not the worst of them all. But this next entry is me ranting on the AEW theme. So let's go to the next entry, shall we? At number 3, we have Jungle Boy's theme is trash. I know most of you guys like this theme, but I don't. This theme just takes me out the picture. Just listen to this nonsense. Browning, new AEW World Tag Team Champions. Yeah, and an epic battle for sure. Lucha Bros and stuff with, with, with uh, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. I mean, they I'm sorry, but this theme is annoying as hell to me. Especially with the crowd saying, way oh, way oh, way. I, I, I can't do it, bro. I can't do it. And another thing. I know you guys would definitely disagree with me on this one, but in AEW, I hate when the fans sing the wrestler's theme song. It's annoying to me, especially at Chris Jericho's entrance. The fans be singing their heart out in his entrance. What did you just in my mind? Every time I watch AEW and Chris Jericho's entrance comes on, I just mute the audio. I'm not joking when I say that either. I just can't with the fans saying, do this in, do this in my mind. Same thing goes for Jungle Boy. When I move the audio on his entrance, I don't want to hear the fans or the theme song. Every time this, this comes on, I just turn it off. I don't care. I'm sorry to any guys that like this theme song, but the way oh way oh way will forever be my least favorite theme song at AEW. Unless they make a worse theme than this. At number two, we have CM Punk is overrated. Now, I don't want to hear any arguments from you guys, because you know this is a fact. This man is literally the most overrated wrestler in AEW. I don't care what anyone says. So, you guys remember what I said on the last entry that I hate with fans seeing the wrestler's entrance? Well, they do the same thing for CM Punk as well. Every time his entrance comes on, literally every fan sings their soul out saying, Look at my eyes, what do you see? A cult of personality. And that just shows it right there. It's so annoying when fans do that. Just let the wrestler do their entrance. Jeez. And that's another thing too. This man came back for the first time in 7 years. And since he returned, he has not been the same. I understand that he's in his 40s now and he's not going to be his old self again. But still, he is not the same CM Punk that we're used to seeing in WWE. I appreciate him coming back to wrestling at AEW, but y'all are doing way too much. I mean, just look at this. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 218 pounds, CM Punk. Look, I'm not hating on CM Punk, and I don't think he's a bad wrestler. I'm just saying y'all praise this man way too much. I can get mad in the comments all y'all want. I really don't care. And I know some of y'all are going to say, but CM Punk held the WWE title for 434 days though. He's not in WWE anymore. He's in AEW now. And I guarantee you, he if he becomes a champion in AEW, he's not going to hold that title for more than 200 days. And that's just my opinion. And if Tony pulls that off, congrats to him. But I just don't see it happening. And let me show you guys something. There's this YouTube channel I came across by the name Casual Q. And make sure you guys go check out his channel. Link to his channel will be in the description. But on his reasons why CM Punk is trash part 2 video, he said something that I really liked. And he was speaking facts. So this is what he said. Raiders in him and our truth drew higher raiders in him. That's why they put him in that program with The Rock and Cena. While your fucking title match with Alberto Del Rio was on the mid card, while they main event in Survivor Series, a tag team match main event in Survivor Series with your title match, our truth spoke it, spoke it right. It was nothing but fucking entitlement. You cried like a little bitch, and they gave you the fucking push, and you were still a mid carder. And I definitely agree with my man Casual Q on this one. This man literally cried for a push. 
he got his push and that still wasn't enough for him. But I'm done talking about this. Let's just go to the number one entry. At number one, we have AEW is not everything. I have so many reasons why this is number one. First off, the fans expect every single wrestler in the world to come to AEW. And recently, they just got Buddy Matthews. And that's the problem. Tony keeps making the same mistakes WCW did back in 2004. When the WWE vs WCW wars was happening, everyone cared about Hulk Hogan. They didn't really care about Kevin Nash or Scott Hall in the NWO. All they cared about was Hulk Hogan. But now at AEW, it's all about Adam Cole, Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho, CM Punk, and many more. And that's another thing too. Tony just loves pushing WWE talent. And he's barely pushing his original guys that haven't been on WWE at all. And they've been at AEW for longer than them. Tony is treating them like jobbers. Like take Powerhouse Hobbs for example. Where he been at? Brian Cage. Where he been at? Miro. Where he been at? I know he's an ex WWE guy as well, but still, Mass well on a whole hiatus. He pretty much had the TNT title, lost the TNT title, and just dipped. His last appearance was at full gear where he had a match against Brian Danielson. Another reason why AEW is not everything is because of their fan base. That's like the main reason I don't watch AEW every week. It's because of their stupid fan base. The very moment you say one bad thing about AEW, they will literally go on a whole robbery scene on you. And when we say these bad things about AEW, they just always assume we're talking about WWE because of the stupid WWE vs AEW wars. I've never said anything about WWE. When people make tweets talking about bad about AEW, you don't see them saying WWE is way better at the end. No, we could be talking about another company. We could be talking about Impact, TNA, Ring of Honor, NJPW, any of these, those companies. It's not always about WWE. And then there'll be those people who say, all you do is talk bad about AEW and not WWE. Bro, I have plenty of videos talking bad about WWE. I made the top 10 worst WrestleManias of all time video. I made the top 5 belts that needs to be redesigned video. I even made a video talking good about AEW. Top 5 things AEW does better than WWE. So don't say I don't say bad things about WWE. Because I do. Vince be doing dumb stuff all the time. It's not just Tony. And I'll make a whole video talking bad about AEW. Since I rarely talk bad about that company anyways. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And if you did, like and subscribe. And sorry if I was ranting a little bit on this video. It's just that I'm just so tired of this nonsense, man. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.